Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to set up your new Lightbree 4K kit. Uh, a couple of years ago I made a, a video that showed how to configure and install a Ambilight clone. I was actually using the, one of the Lightbree kits at the time. Uh, the videos have been so popular and I get so many questions about them all the time um, that I thought I would make uh, another one. Uh, since I made those videos quite a few things have changed. There's been some new models of Raspberry Pi that have come onto the market. That's changed the configuration process and some of the compatibility a little bit. Um, Lightberry.eu very kindly sent me a, a new kit, which is one of their 4K kits. These 4K kits are higher resolution in their LEDs, so there's more than double the number of LEDs per meter compared to their old kits. Um, they're now compatible with all of the different Raspberry Pis available. And some of the software that drives the, uh, the lights themselves have has, has changed slightly and has improved and is, is now a little bit easier to configure than it once was. So I thought I'd start a, a new video and we'll go through from scratch what, we, uh, what we're going to do. Um, so, library.eu have kindly sent me library 4K kit. Um, as you said, there's a few improvements there. The main ones being the, the, the quality of the LED lighting themselves, which I'll show you in a moment, uh, and then also compatibility with up to 4K video sources. So inside the Lightberry kit you're going to find these components, an HDMI video converter that's going to take our HDMI signal and that can be up to up to 4K and it's going to convert that actually into an analog signal. This analog signal is then passed into a USB video grabber from Lightberry that's uh, compatible with the Raspberry Pi and it's also going to pass it through into a Raspberry Pi Model 3 I've got here, in a little case. Um, and that's going to process it, and then it's going to send the signals to the lights to control the lights. Just over here we've got an HDMI splitter, so actually what we're going to do is we're going to take a signal from, um, in this example, from my Xbox, through, from HDMI. I'm going to split it into two, uh, so we're going to have one signal which just goes straight back into my television, because I don't want uh, to alter the image in any way. I don't want to do any processing to that, creating any lag. I don't want anything like that to happen. And we're gonna send the second split signal through into the, um, the video converter to go through into the Raspberry Pi. So I'll show you how these all plug together in a moment. Um, the other parts that you get in the kit are the lights themselves, which I've already stuck. So you get a strip of LED lighting. I've ordered the four meter kit, which is connected to the Raspberry Pi with uh, an HDMI cable. So you can see there, it's just stuck to my uh, television, just with some little brackets that are supplied. So just these little sticky brackets here, just stick those on the back in various different places. There's another, just to keep them uh, neat and tidy. So if we come back over here. So in terms of plugging them together, so I'll come down to my little cable box. HDMI splitter. The input comes out the back of your video device, your PlayStation 4, your Xbox One, your set-top box, whatever it is. We're going to have another HDMI cable going straight into here. And a, a second HDMI cable just goes back into the back of your television. Again, the Raspberry uh, the video grabber connected to the Raspberry Pi. So I'm just going to... Uh, connect those together now and uh, come back in a moment. So very roughly, here they are all plugged in. I haven't plugged in the power cables. Um, each one of these devices has their own power cable. I'm not plugging those in right now because that's just going to make it a cable mess. So again, just to confirm, HDMI cable coming out of my Xbox or other box. Splitter, splitting it into two, sending one back just straight into my television. Signal untouched, second one coming round into the video converter, converting it into analog. Video grabber connected to the Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Pi then processes that image, looks at how the lights need to be illuminated in the various different places. And then there's a second USB cable here, which then comes out and that is correct, connected directly to the, uh, the Lightberry lights. So really, really simple to, to put together. The, uh, the more difficult bit, which is a lot easier than it was 
18 months ago, is going to be configuring the lights. So we're going to hop across onto uh, video two and I'm going to show you how we actually set up the library and we get it all up and running for you. See you soon.